back to the channel happy monday four days strong i'm not drinking and let me tell you i wanted to drink today what's good i'm a fan favorite we already knew this Polly. uh yeah i'm not gonna be in the video wing stop we're doing wing stop he says he really doesn't care for wings i know i said I mean, not i said wing stop he has barbecue they overdo the sauce he has barbecue. I'm waiting on my sucio. Um, I for sure have lemon pepper with one of his barbecue. You already know. I just wanted to say what's good. Deuces. You already know the ranch on deck. He got boneless this time. They were on sale. So he says he does. Oh. 70 cents. He keeps on taking forever. Too annoying that I, I'm doing this. Um, 70 cents for the boneless. And he has them hot, original hot fries, the corn, of course. And I'm waiting on him. Of course. How is everyone doing today on this Monday? Why don't my eyes look like that? What, what are you doing now? I'm just going to stay here until he gets here. No, it's fine. You could go because I'm not going to eat until he gets here and I don't know where he's at. Okay. He know I have started it too. I know he hears me talking. I'm hungry and I like eating it hot. I'll tell you this. Since I is my fourth day, I'm used to drinking my days off. And when I'm irritated, it just like calms me down. And I've been more irritated lately. The more I but i'm gonna do it it's not that hard i swear where are you at danny huh. i'm here full of fact danny tuning in with michi 85. my name is michelle or michi what is this just in case they come on wing stop really just in case they want to look you up in YouTube. They are on YouTube if they're watching YouTube. But if you got it on your, uh, posted on your IG. It's all right, it don't matter. I'm all here supporting my wife, as usual. It's a pleasure. What are y'all doing today? Um, I was telling them that I'm going to test you. Test you. As the day's goal. Oh, to drink? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm giving it to you. I don't need it. It's not that easy, but you're doing it. Because usually by now, we before we start the video, we usually take shots. And a glass of wine. Especially a hard day of work. Um, I mean, excuse me. What? You don't want pop? Oh, silverware. Oh, that's why they put a fork in there. Silverware. It was in there. So what I ordered was some boneless, uh, boneless buffalo chicken. Tenders, right? Boneless wings. Oh, boneless wings. Buffalo. Mm, that was good with the ranch and the parmesan. And <laughs> well, you got the wings, right? The lemon and pepper. Mm -hmm. And what's this right here? Paulie's barbecue. Oh, you ordered some barbecue too? For him. Mm -hmm. yeah, dip. There you go. Mm. She don't want to get poisoned. How's work? Work is work. Boring as usual. Dealing with the public. That's not boring. Yes. You, be, you be watching, seeing some crazy stuff go on at work. Yeah, crazy enough. These people don't do drugs. You have some crazy people. Crazy stuff. I was waiting for my train. 
Mm -hmm. At the terminal. He's right an in, operator. Right in front of my face. And this guy wants to go and jump down the track, on the tracks. Why? I told him, what are you doing? I gotta pee. <laughs> what? <laughs> I always do this. He's gonna get like, killed. Come on, man. That's exactly what I told him. You're gonna get killed? You're gonna cause a delay? You're gonna get arrested? Mm-hmm. He's just gonna mess everything up, in other words. Shut the whole thing down just because he had a pee. Don't go downstairs. He's gonna risk his whole life just to piss. You see those trees over there, bushes or whatever? I know, it's Be a discreet man. and go piss over there. Yeah. He could be discreet and just... They do dumb shit. I'm oh, glad I don't. Like I swear, man. We both work for the same company. I'm just a switchman. So I don't have to deal with half the stuff he does. I do still deal with the public if, you know, I'm putting up a train for storage. But other than that, I hardly, I hardly deal with passengers. I'd rather do that than deal with passengers. You got some crazy. Not only that, enough of the negative, but on the, on the good side, you got some nice people. Mm -hmm. I always appreciate it of, of you giving them that lift to work. Some people are fascinated on trains too. Especially the kids. Mm -hmm. When I used to operate, I'll see them waving their hand. And I'll, I'll toot my little horn. Toot, 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 toot. And they'll, they'll get all excited. Do you still do that? I had, as a matter of fact, I had a, a, a kid today. He was knocking on my window, window, trying to get my attention. But I'm taking care of the doors opening, make sure everybody's in, out, clear before I close my doors. He's knocking on that window. And when I look at him, he goes, <laughs> I wave at him back and he just got really happy. I made his day. So it's all right, you know, the kids, I understand. They like trains. And something fascinates them because mm -hmm. they haven't never seen it. Mm -hmm. Or not if they've never seen it, but or up close to road it. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. Yeah. Now that's the good thing about it. Also, we're getting a lot of people not wearing their masks. That's another problem that I'm noticing. What the masks are starting to come back like how was that a, so look it he's he's worried that the gym might close back down please don't close back down. do you think that they're gonna shut down like the whole like how they did i don't think it's gonna be get to that point are they mandating you to wear your mask again or recommending i don't know if it's a mandated rule yet you want? Mm -hmm. Was it hot? No. I don't hope they don't close the gyms either. But I don't think it's going to get to that point. Not only gyms, we got other spots like the malls, the baseball games. I was just at a baseball game and I was like, man. The thing is, you don't, you don't realize what you got until you lose it. And, and... Once you don't have it, you'd be like, damn, I wish I had it. And those are things that we value now. But this Lollapalooza thing was super packed. Well, Lori Lightfoot said that there was 90% of vaccinated people in the crowd. And um, boot that. <laughs> Probably no. Each store I go into, I went to Walgreens this morning. I went to Ross. I got the Mac Dub. They go sign mass requiring. By the time you? They're starting to. Uh, hey, sir, you gotta go into your Mac? No, but you know what? I felt like an outcast. I was like the only one without the mask on. <laughs> Everybody else had the mask. The president didn't tell me anything, but there's some places that will tell you, sir, I need you to put your mask on. Well, we'll stop seeing people's faces again. Only their eyes. 
even the trains make their announcements saying to wear your mask even if you're vaccinated. Well, that's on the trains has been you know the same but the fact that the 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 stores are going back to that it's you know that's when it starts being a little bit like oh is it going back down are they going to change to phase a different phase again which sucks well hopefully not we don't go backwards again. if they do it is what it is we're already used to it but Especially eating at the restaurant, remember? There was no eating inside the restaurant. Well, it's going to get cold again. Bars were closed. I don't want to think about a bar right now. <laughs> it's like, what do you want to do? Nothing. I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> can get you a nice cold beverage, like a nice virgin margarita. <laughs> I'm not drinking virgin of anything. A smoothie. Virgin margarita. Who drinks virgin margaritas? Margaritas. Kids. <laughs> I asked for extra fried, and these people did not do that. I hate when I request something and they don't do what I had requested for and paid for. This is the second time Wingstop has disappointed me. You probably didn't know that either. How's that corn? Good. Taste one. You never had it. And dip it into the ranch. So guys, comment below. Let us know what you guys think. Is it really going to get down to that point where you got to wear a mask again? Again to the quarantine? Just the thought about it. Oh my God. I'm okay with that part. Oh man. You want to be locked up with your sister? We did get a break from work, being in quarantine. <laughs> it was I got like two a, breaks. It was a paid vacation. I got two breaks. <laughs> we did get two paid. The first one for me, I was working with somebody that had COVID. So you put me just in case. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take it. I didn't ask for it, but no symptoms. But hey, I quarantine. Didn't pay. Then she caught it. <laughs> Simple fact that I live with her and she's my wife. Quarantine again. All right, let's do it. No symptoms. I did not get no symptoms or tested positive. Ain't that crazy? While she was positive, I was negative. No symptoms, no nothing. I got some good blood system. Or I could have tested negative. Uh, I had a false positive. Either way, we still got. But didn't you try it twice though? Mm-hmm. When we quarantined the first time, I tested myself. And the second time, I tested myself again. That's whatever. I had mild symptoms. Look, if I have to quarantine again, I'm okay with the vacation. I just don't want to have it. Hmm, one, one of the, I don't like this one's so big and fat. You want this big fat one? Oh, yeah. I don't like yeah. them like that. More me. Steroids. More for the not push. steroids. More for the push. No. How was your day? Since I was stuck at work. I avoided drinking. That's my, all my day consisted all of. Day? Just avoid drinking? Just. When I clean, I was washing Polly's clothes. Because my daughter. I'm not even going to talk about it. I was re-washing my dad, son's clothes. She either overpacked the machine or underpacked. And he put the washer in the, the clothes that were in the washer in the dryer, but they were soaked. And he didn't say anything. He just put them to dry. And they didn't dry the right way. And then they started to smell. So my crazy self had to rewash them. And that was like two loads. I had to rewash. Um, 
because they were soaked and they weren't drying the right way. I don't know. But other than that, we went to the gym together. Oh, yes. So while you were gone, I was watching my hands make tail. And avoiding drinking. Because, <laughs> you know, today's my day to drink. And right. I was supposed to go and visit my brother. Wasn't in the mood. You know what? Chicken butt. How do um? How do people do it? What? Get by with alcohol, especially when when you're already used to it. Like mm -hmm. they just don't think about it. Some people after work, like I said earlier, hard day work. Man, I need a cold beer. Um, you're working on a car, and let me get a cold beer. You cut the lawn. You cut the lawn, the grass. <laughs> time for beer. <laughs> oh, wine. Like. I don't know, it's, it's it's a given, you know? And um, when you're not an alcoholic, well, if you're not an alcoholic, well, you wouldn't have that problem, but if you drink... Like, I don't you know, they, consider right? myself an alcoholic. I consider myself a social drinker. Okay, social drinker, so... So, it shouldn't, be, so it shouldn't be that hard, because... Well, well, you are a social drinker, because if you were an alcoholic, you would have not... You would have been drinking already. I don't even know if it's considered a social drinker. I like to drink. I'm not an alcoholic though. Every day? I don't drink every day. So you're a social drinker then? But I think socially means that when you're only when you're out and other people are drinking. I could drink a glass of wine on my own. And not socialize. Thank you, Watson. Thank you. I didn't really care for the wings. I did kill them because I was hungry. <sighs> they were undercooked. Uh, not undercooked, but they weren't the way I like them cooked. If that makes any kind of sense. So before we change the subject, anybody got any comments about that or any uh, anything to say about it? Just uh, below. Mm -hmm. How do you guys do it? Or if you were an alcoholic, uh, how did you do it? I guess just keep your mind busy and don't think about it. Probably meditate or something. It's just like a smoker. How smokers stop smoking? I have no clue. <laughs> Look, it's not that big of a deal. It's my first week, you know. That's good. My first, you know, four days. I think after two weeks, it comes naturally. Hopefully. I know you can do it. Probably won't last. <laughs> by this weekend, by Friday already. <laughs> It'll be like fucking so cool. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm not an alcoholic. I could do it. It's not that serious. You got this. <clears throat> well, guys, it's Monday. Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday. We never have. Have we done a Taco Tuesday? Like a big taco? No. We haven't done none of the challenges yet. There's so many challenges that people have been doing, YouTubers, mukbangers. What challenge do we do? They be doing those crazy hot, hot ones. Can you do that? If I eat half stuff, I think my booty hole is going to burn afterwards. Hmm. How did you guys like our Vegas little vlog? I try to do it as much as I could without, you know. Let me tell you, Vegas is hot. Mm -hmm. It was hot. Super hot. But it's not like Chicago. Chicago is really like humid, wet. Chicago, um, Vegas is like hot. 
like a burning sensation, like bang. And that was all night. At least here in Chicago, most of the time in Chicago, real muggy in the day, humid. But when the sun goes sun down, sun goes down, cools down. Or at least you could feel a breeze. If it doesn't cool down and it's still hot, you can still feel a breeze. It's not like Vegas. Vegas was hot in the nighttime. I was sweating in the nighttime. But it's a different kind of hot. They're both hot. Chicago's just like Florida, though. Humid and wet. Vegas is that dry stuff. That dry heat. But all in all, it's all hot and I'm always hot. Like, I'm always sweaty and stuff. Always hot. Relax. Because your mind goes to the gutter all the time. Yeah, I will. How did you like your bonus? They were good. Probably better than mine. Mm -hmm. Try that. Try um, I like that uh, lemon. Try corn. That lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Dip it into the ranch. That's Trust what you me. Do? Yeah. Dip it in ranch. It, it'd be fire. I don't know why. Hopefully, no regrets. You didn't like them either? They weren't very good. Explain to them why weren't they good. What do you think wasn't good about the wings? <laughs> he ate. He ate most of them though. One of them was pink. It wasn't pink. You got barbecue sauce on them, so it's probably that. And another thing, they overdo the sauce. It's not just it's not a great experience. Four. Go to district. If you live in Chicago, go to District. It's in downtown. The wings are amazing. It's in Wicker Park. Whatever, wherever it is, it's good. 10 out of 10. Must try again. Even though, like, I eat them all the time. And, like, the meat just comes off. What do you think about the corn? That's good. Yeah, please, never again. And the fries are bad, too. Like, you know what? Maybe because we eat it. I, I like... Wing stop. I like their lemon pepper wings, but they need to do like it the way I request. You like their variety of uh, flavors, but isn't there a, another stop? Same thing. Not for the lemon oh, pepper. Buffalo the way Wild I like wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't like the wings either. What about uh? Hooters? I like wing stop better. Hooters be too big and battered. I like their buffalo shrimp at Hooters. If I get anything, it's the buffalo shrimp. I guess if you eat it too often, you get sick of the. Sh you just get sick of it. And should I have cooked? Yes. But did I want to cook? No. So there goes that. I cooked on Saturday. And I, w I did a video with my son. <laughs> so we're trying to teach. I'm trying. Not we. I'm trying to teach him how to cook his favorite dishes. But it didn't come. I, I need to be able to. I need to redo that one. <laughs> I was screaming and <laughs> I'm too controlling for certain things. And I'm not really a good teacher. I don't know how teachers do it. I I can't. I don't have the patience for it. I gotta let you guys know. I made rice for the first time. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. The video was horrible, but the the rice did turn out very good. I am proud of him. He followed my directions, even though I got frustrated and I was yelling at some point. It was pretty good. She was yelling at me because I was scared to overdo the salt. And when I was cleaning out the rice, not very strong with my left hand, so it was pretty hard to drain it. So yeah. I know you don't like barbecue, but do you want them? You look like you're still hungry. All right, let me taste one. Pick your poison. Dip it in the ranch. Well, guys, leave a comment, subscribe, like this video, dislike the video, whatever, you know. Let us know your feedback. Do you think we should do a challenge? Maybe we should create a challenge. I just don't know what to challenge people. Some people be like doing how many wings, like how many pieces of chicken you could eat in like 10 minutes. Challenge. I, I still doing, haven't done no seafood. You're boils. doing one right now, Angel? What? 
Aren't you doing a giant right now? Yeah, but that's me. <laughs> I, not a lot of people. I don't know if a lot of people drink. If I know other mukbangers that like either drink too much or drink or, you know, that I could challenge them, you know, then it would be one. But, you know, we're new to this. We're still new. Look Rookies. at that gun, that little gun. Can you show your guns again? Oh, look at that. <laughs> mm, <nobody> ah. <laughs> well, guys, let us know um, what, should, what kind of challenge should we do? If you've made it to the ending of this video, at least. Um, and yeah, have a nice day. Nice beginning of the week. Stay safe. Stay positive. Good vibes, please. Good vibes. You done with your inspirational speeches? Yes. And kissy. Each each ending of our show we do a kissy. Mm -hmm.